Welcome back to the Barrett channel today for a brand new video with myself, Ollie. Now, we've got a special one for you today. I'm in a shoe factory in Wenzhou, Southeast China, where they make 16 million pairs of shoes per year. Would you believe that? Now, we're gonna see exactly how a, a pair of shoes goes from raw materials to the finished product. So stay tuned. family business situated along China's eastern coast in the city of Wenzhou since 1995. Back then, the owner saw a gap in the market and just 25 years later, he's supplying 16 million pairs of shoes per year for brands such as Zara and Deutschmann. This production line alone can produce up to 4,000 pairs of shoes each and every day. However, this is not the only one. The owner of the factory was adamant that they have the best 3D printers in the world currently. This has reduced their time of making a concept mold of a shoe from four days down to two days. And not only that, it's taken the price down significantly from 5,000 down to about 100 RMB. Once the order has been placed and the mold has been created, this damn cool programmable machine here will cut out the necessary materials that are needed for the shoe. So this is the machine that they used to use to hand cut it, but this is not used anymore because that other machine over there is um, cutting, you know, at, at, at multiple times of speed compared to this one. So uh, that's showing you how the sort of technology is improving. So this is um, the stitching area, and this is an area where they used to have many, many people that needed the right skills to manually stitch. However, now they've got machines that you don't really need to be that skilled. You can kind of put the shoe under there and the machine's gonna do most of the work for you. As you can see, the uh, strings are on there and you basically just press a pedal and it's basically gonna stitch most of it for you. So after it's gone through the design and cutting out of the raw materials, it's brought into the main production line. And they used to have a more manual production line over there, but now they've transitioned to this one where they've automated a lot of the processes. So we're gonna see exactly how a shoe goes from raw materials to the finished product. First stage, I was a bit of a donut and somehow missed filming this step. However, they're gonna fit the mold into the material before whacking some glue on the bottom of the sole and sticking it on the bottom. Next up, it's put into this machine to shape the front of the shoe properly. The next process is very much the same, essentially just to ensure that all of the material is around the mold as it should be. The shoe is put through a multitude of different heating and cooling phases throughout the process just to ensure everything is nice and sturdy. A sand disc is used just so you don't have any little fluffy threads on the bottom of the shoe. They're all gonna be sanded off. This lady's job is to put a cleaning substance on the top of the shoe's sole. She then places them separately before they move on to the next step to have them stuck together. This I thought was slightly amusing. It goes into uh, have a process done by this robot, but because this particular shoe is quite simple, this robot didn't need to do his job here. So it simply goes in, pretends to do something, and comes out the other end. So I've just been told by Parker that each one of these robots can replace up to five workers. So you can make your own decision about that. Obviously, that makes it a lot more profitable for the business, uh, but unfortunately, it gets rid of a hell of a lot of workers. For the more intricate sanding around the sides of the shoe, it goes into this machine here. And all the dust is extracted through an extractor fan and comes out the back, as you can see. This woman here is actually gluing uh, the bottom of the shoe to be able to stick the sole to it. And we've been told that this robot will be doing that job very soon, but it's not yet quite ready. 
So this machine here is actually putting the glue on the sole of the shoe. And uh, you just saw before that the woman was putting the glue onto the uh, bottom of the shoe. So they're going to be then stuck together on the next phase. These two gentlemen here are taking the shoe and the sole out from the line and manually sticking them together. I was told that the chance of them having a defect is lower this way. The men are using a hammer as well as a syringe of glue to ensure that every part of the sole is stuck very well. So this bit is essentially to make sure that when you get your shoe, you don't want the sole falling off it in the first couple of weeks because I've had that with a couple of pairs of shoes before and no one's happy when that happens. This is a cooling process now so that the glue can harden because during manufacturing the shoe it gets very hot. After it comes out the other end, the shoe is then taken off from the mould and the mould is put onto a conveyor belt to go back to the start so that it can be reused. See that woman there? That's the one you just saw in the last clip. So she puts the finished product on that conveyor belt which comes down to this end of the production line where it's dealt with. So amazingly, this is one of the stages that is actually done manually. And that is when you find the bits of paper in the ends of your shoes when you buy them. <laughs> How about that, eh? So this woman's wrapping up all the paper whacking them in the shoes and then they are ready to be sent off for packaging. So here the lady is putting in some wooden sticks to basically keep the structure of the shoes um, while they've been shipped and stuff like that just to, to make sure they still keep their shape. So if the women determine here that there is actually anything wrong with the shoes they will go ahead and put them over onto this rack which is basically shoes with defects and Parker's just told me that they will actually uh, have a look at each pair and try and determine whether they can fix them. And if they can fix them, they will do so and package them up for sale. But if the problem is too big and cannot be fixed, then unfortunately they will go to waste. All right, so it's about midday now and uh, 12 o'clock in China is the national lunch time. So everybody has actually left. Uh, but the last stage is obviously packaging. So it's literally going to be packaged up into the boxes and that is exactly how your shoes are going to arrive when you buy them in the store. Anyway, hopefully you did learn something from this video. Make sure you drop a like if you did. Actually, YouTube, for some reason, thinks you're going to like this video here next. So let's see if they're right, shall we? Anyway, for now, everybody, take care.